Hello, this is Lex Bonifay. In this video, I'm taking you to Bicol. This is Lex Go. In this trip, I'm taking you to Tikau, an unspoiled island between Masbate and Sorsogon. For the sea lovers, it is a paradise where they can interact with manta rays and whale sharks. For many, it is another way to experience an undiscovered charm of the Philippines. Ready for the trip? Let's go! If you're looking for a destination that is quiet, unspoiled, and charming, Tikau Island in Bicol should be a part of your list of must-visit places. This idyllic island offers unique natural wonders, and its people are genuinely friendly and warm. My first trip to Tikau was when we shot a Cinemalaya film called Pink Halo Halo, which was about seven years ago. And from then on, I had the secret longing to visit this island again. Luckily, dreams do come true. To visit Tikau, you can fly all the way from Manila to Legazpi. As we arrived in the capital city of Albay, our flight was welcomed with a dance number from the locals. Apparently, there were VIPs from our flight, so this is not a usual welcome experience. From the airport, I'm pretty sure you'd like to take a side trip to see the world-famous Mayon Volcano. For our trip, we went to the Kagsawa Ruins, reported to be a remnant of an old church which was buried from the eruption of the volcano in 1814. After this side trip, you can now proceed to your journey to Tikau. From the Gaspi, a one-hour ride will take you to Don Sol Sorsogon, a town famous for its marine transients, the whale sharks, the biggest fish in the world. From Don Sol, a two-hour boat ride will take you finally to Tikau Island. As we arrived in Tikau, we were welcomed by the sight of a few huts and hammocks. This is Tikau Island Resort, a place that is very relaxed and unassuming. I spoke with the manager of the resort and he told me why people come to his place. Tikau is on the top 10 diving destination in the Philippines. They come here for uh, the manta, manta ray. Tikau Island serves as the dive station for the manta bowl, a cleaning and feeding ground for large ocean creatures. This area is where you get the most sightings of manta rays and a few sharks like the hammerhead and thresher sharks. Tikau shares the same water with Don Sol, so visitors of the island can also experience snorkeling with whale sharks, the gentle giants of the ocean. The sea between Tikau Island and Don Sol is the highway for these creatures locally known as Butanding. They are the crowd drawers in the area between the months of November and May. Island hopping is a must-try experience when in Tikau. We were treated to beautiful limestone formations along the sea as we went to a cove named Halea. Arriving in Halea, I must admit that I was a bit surprised to see several boats parked in this place. But despite of the crowd, it's hard not to appreciate the beauty of this sanctuary. Another unforgettable experience in Tikau is biking around the island. Riding around Tikau will give you an expansive and breathtaking view of farmlands and forest. You can drop by Matang Tubig, a popular leisure area for locals where they can take a refreshing dip from an underground source of water. The town of San Jacinto is a charming place that emanates the feel of an old town oblivious of the modern times. Walking around will give you a refreshing glimpse of the Filipino life. The Church of San Jacinto is a point of interest and is said to be a 200-year-old structure. A few meters outside the church is Bounce Place, a restaurant that serves one of the most special halo halo I've ever tried. Made of milk, fruit preserves, and a rich homemade ice cream that is just so delightful. Whether you're a diver or not, I'm pretty sure you'll find it difficult not to fall for the charms of Tikau Island. 
authentic, warm, and rich. That's what to expect in this quiet eco paradise. I hope you enjoyed our Beacon trip today. This is Lex Bonifay. This is Lex Go. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.